Okay, superstars, hello and welcome back to Hotel and Hospitality English. Today we are on Unit 12 on page 50. Today's topic is my favourite topic, my favourite place in any hotel at the bar, okay? So today we are talking about taking orders at the bar from customers. We will also be looking at recommending something to the customers and also taking and processing payments from guests, okay? So if you look at the picture, a typical hotel, bar or restaurant scene, you can see David putting ice into a glass, probably making a cocktail for one of the guests in the hotel. So. I'm sure m many of you here have probably had experience working in a bar. You know how difficult it is and all the problems associated with dealing with drunk people. It's a very stressful job, but it can also be a lot of fun. But I definitely know most of you guys have lots of experience going to bars, okay? Ordering drinks and dealing with with people behind the bar who work there. Okay, so this will be a very familiar scene, but as usual, we're gonna look at the conversations. We're gonna learn some key phrases and usual style for your assignments. I want you to uh, copy the conversation and also do the role play with the beeps. Okay, so this is track 46 on CD 41. In part one, the conversation is, David is working in the Metro Hotel bar. Listen to his conversation with the guest, okay? And then we will answer some questions together. So track 46, here we go. Track 12, at the bar. Track 46. Exercise 1. Conversation A. Good evening, sir. How are you this evening? Fine, thanks. What can I get you? I'll have a beer, please. Of course, sir. Would you like draught or bottled beer? I'd like to try a draught beer. What would you recommend? Well, the German and Czech Pilsner on draught are very popular. Right. I'll have a Czech Pilsner, please. There you are, sir. That'll be £3.90, please. Thank you. Conversation B. Good evening, ladies. What would you like this evening? Two gin and tonics, please. And could we have long drinks with lots of ice, please? Of course. Would you like a slice of lemon? Yes, please. Here you are. Would you like to pay for them now, or shall I start a tab for you? I think we'll start a tab. We might have another drink later on. Of course. Could you give me your room number, please? I'm in 469. Could you sign here, please? Thank you. Okay, guys, two conversations there. One between David and a male guest, and one between David and a female guest. So in conversation A with the male guest, David asks, what can I get you? So the guest wants a beer. So there are two styles of beer usually. There are draft beer, which is like Korean sengmikju, and there is bottle beer, okay? So David recommends a pilsner. So a pilsner is like a lager style, like Cass or Height, okay? So they are very, very popular, okay? And the price is in pounds, it's £3.90, so it's about, oh, maybe Chilchon won, so it's a little bit expensive for Obeg CC, but that is typical price in a hotel or bar in the UK. In conversation two, it's a conversation with ladies, and she wants two gin and tonics, okay? So gin is very popular these days, and she wants long drinks, okay? Long drinks is like double shot, okay? So it's two shots of gin, not like a single shot of gin. So it'd be two shots. 
So they are quite strong drinks, okay? And he asks about a tab. Shall I make a tab for you, okay? A tab is kind of like Korean style. You write it on the paper and you can add the total of the drinks together and pay at the end of the night instead of always paying at the bar when you order, okay? So it says, did you know, in American English, the phrase on tap is more common than saying on draft, okay? So beer tap. Or on draft is like sing make chew. Okay, so let's move on. We will have some questions here. In part two, it says listen to the conversation again and decide if these statements below are true or false. True or false. Okay, question number one. The man chooses a bottled beer. The man chooses a bottled beer. True or false. Number two, David recommends beers from Germany and the Czech Republic. David recommends beers from Germany and the Czech Republic. True or false? Number three, the ladies don't want ice and lemon in their drinks. True or false? Number four, the ladies are staying in the hotel. The ladies are staying in the hotel. True or false? And finally, number five, the ladies want to pay for their drinks later in the evening. The ladies want to pay for their drinks later in the evening. True or false? Okay, guys, so let's listen to the two conversations one more time, and then we can answer these questions together. Here we go, track 46. Track 46. Exercise 1. Conversation A. Good evening, sir. How are you this evening? Fine, thanks. What can I get you? I'll have a beer, please. Of course, sir. Would you like draught or bottled beer? I'd like to try a draught beer. What would you recommend? Well, the German and Czech Pilsner on draught are very popular. Right. I'll have a Czech Pilsner, please. There you are, sir. That'll be £3.90, please. Thank you. Conversation B. Good evening, ladies. What would you like this evening? Two gin and tonics, please. And could we have long drinks with lots of ice, please? Of course. Would you like a slice of lemon? Yes, please. Here you are. Would you like to pay for them now, or shall I start a tab for you? I think we'll start a tab. We might have another drink later on. Of course. Could you give me your room number, please? I'm in 469. Could you sign here, please? Thank you. Okay, guys, so let's answer the true or false questions in part two. Number one, the man chooses a bottled beer. The man chooses a bottled beer. So you can see he wants a Czech Pilsner and they are both on draft. Okay, so draft is saying make you. So the answer to number one is false. He wants a draft beer or beer on tap or saying make you. Number two, David recommends beers from Germany and the Czech Republic. Yes, that is true. Two Pilsners. Number three, the ladies don't want ice and lemon in their drinks. It is false. They want lots and lots of ice, okay? Lots and lots of ice. Number three, the ladies are not staying in the hotel. This is false. The ladies are staying in the hotel and their room number is 469. Number five, the ladies want to pay for their drinks later in the evening. This is true because they are opening a tab and it says maybe they will have another drink later on. Okay, guys. In the next part, we will look for some key phrases for working at the bar. So you will use these many times in your career working in restaurants and bars. So here we go. First one is, what can I get you? 
What can I get you? Okay. What can I get you? Would you like draft or bottled beer? Would you like draft or bottled beer? That'll be five pounds, please. That'll be ten dollars, please. That'll be eight thousand won, please. Would you like ice? Would you like ice? Would you like a slice of lemon? Would you like a slice of lemon? Next column. Would you like to pay for them now? Would you like to pay for them now? Shall I start a tab for you? Shall I start a tab for you? Could you sign here, please? Could you sign here, please? Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Good job. Okay, guys. Next page, please. On the next page, part three, practice, says fill in the missing letters to complete the sentences. So a little bit different this time. We've learned the key phrases from the previous page. So fill in the missing letters, please. Okay, so number one says, what can I get you? What can I get you? Number two, fill in the missing letters, okay. Shall I start a tab for you? Shall I start a tab for you? Number three, would you like ice and lemon? Would you like ice and lemon? Number four, would you like bottle or draft beer? Would you like bottled or draft beer? Super easy, nothing too difficult there, guys. So let's move on quickly to part four. It says put the dialogue between David and the hotel guest into the correct order. Then listen to track 47 to check the answers. Okay, the first one has been done for you. So before listening to the CD track or watching this video, please put the conversation into the correct order. Okay, so let's listen to it together and then I will tell you the answers. So this is track number 47. Track 47. Exercise 4. Good evening, sir. How are you this evening? I'm fine, thank you. What can I get you? Scotch and soda, please. Would you like ice? No, thank you. That'll be six pounds, please. Can you charge it to my room? Of course, sir. Can you give me your room number? It's 1107. Track. Okay. One more time. Track 47. Exercise 4. Good evening, sir. How are you this evening? I'm fine, thank you. What can I get you? Scotch and soda, please. Would you like ice? No, thank you. That'll be six pounds, please. Can you charge it to my room? Of course, sir. Can you give me your room number? It's 1107. Okay, so a conversation between David, the barman, and a male guest. So let's put it in the correct order. So number one has been done for you. David, the barman, says, good evening, sir. How are you this evening? Okay, super simple. Next one, number two, says, guest, I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. Number three, David, what can I get you? What can I get you? Number four, guest says, scotch and soda, please. Scotch and soda, please. So scotch, I am from Scotland. Scotch is our national drink. Scotch is whiskey, okay, whiskey. And soda is fizzy or sparkling water or lemonade sometimes, okay. Soda water. Next one is number five. David says, would you like ice? Would you like ice? Number six, the guest says, no, thank you. No, thank you. And then David replies, that will be six pounds, please. That will be six pounds, please. So more than man one for one whiskey and soda. Very expensive. Number eight, the guest asks, can you charge it to my room? 
Can you charge it to my room? So this means he is asking, instead of paying for it directly just now in cash or with credit card, the bill will be put on to his room charge when he checks out at the end of his stay at the hotel. Okay, number nine, David says, of course, sir, can you give me your room number? Of course, sir, can you give me your room number? And the guest replies, it's 1107 or 1107. Okay, so that is our final part of page uh, 52. So at the bottom of the page is one of my favorite photographs. So this is the taps all lined up for Seng Mikchu. Nice draft beer selection there. Okay, so let's move on to the final page of our unit today. So as usual with the final unit, we will have uh, a listening part and then we will have listening with the beep for your final assignment. But first here, there is a language tip. It says, when you say prices, first say the main number, then or second, you say the currency, like pounds, euros, dollars, won. Although this part is optional. And then the third, the smaller numbers. For example, six euros, 90, two pounds, 50. $3.99 or 3,500 won. Okay, it's a little bit different in Korean money. Okay, so in part five, you are going to listen to some prices and then we will repeat them together. So let's listen to track 48. 48, exercise five, one. Nine pounds ninety nine or nine ninety nine two three euros twenty or three twenty three eleven pounds fifty or eleven fifty four one hundred and forty seven dollars ninety or one hundred and forty seven ninety five sixteen euros forty five or sixteen forty five okay so quick repeat there's two different styles saying the currency or saying without the currency so number one nine pounds ninety nine or nine ninety nine number two three euros twenty or 320. Number three, 11 pounds 50 or 1150. Number four, 447 dollars 90 or 147 90. And then finally number five, 16 euro 45 or 16 45. Okay guys. So in the final part of the unit we will have our Final homework assignment of unit 12. Listen to the conversation with the beeps, okay? And then I want you to answer when you hear the beep. Record your conversation and put it on Facebook. But first, we will listen to the whole thing together. So now at the end of the unit, you can take drinks orders at the bar. You can recommend different styles of drinks to guests and you can take their payment. Okay, key skills for working in a hotel. So let's go back to part six. Let's listen to the full conversation one time and then I want you to practice for your homework. Okay, so in the final part of the unit, we will have our final homework assignment of unit 12 listen to the conversation with the beeps okay and then i want you to answer when you hear the beep record your conversation and put it on facebook but first we will listen to the whole thing together so now at the end of the unit you can take drinks orders at the bar 
You can recommend different styles of drinks to guests and you can take their payment. Okay, key skills for working in a hotel. So let's go back to part six. Let's listen to the full conversation one time and then I want you to practice for your homework. Okay, your homework assignment today. Please talk after the beep in the model conversation. Track 49, exercise six. Good evening, how are you? I think I'll have a beer. What bottled beers do you have? What would you recommend? Fine, then I'll have one of those. How much do I owe you? Can I put it on a tab? I'm staying in room 406. Okay, superstars, thank you for watching. This is hopefully our last lecture. So for this unit, for your homework assignments, I want you to make two videos, okay? Same as last week, I want you to make one video conversation of conversation one, okay? So it could be with your friend, could be your uh, cousin online, could be someone you work with, or you could do it alone. But what I want to see is I want to see eye contact from you, talking with a happy face, okay? Don't be shy, don't be nervous, don't be scared. If you want to get a good score, show me your face talking English with a happy face, okay? That is the most important thing in this unit. And then in part two, I want you to make a video where you talk. You're acting in a role play conversation where you talk after you hear the beeps, okay? Beep, and then you talk, okay? So film that for me on your smartphone. Let me see your face and put it on Facebook group, okay? So on the Facebook group, it's okay to give a thumbs up or a heart to your friends. It's okay to write Korean and it's okay to have a laugh and a joke and some kidding, okay? Everybody is friends. Don't feel shy, don't feel nervous. So don't worry about that, guys. There is a deadline on the Facebook page, but if you are a few days late, it's no problem. But I will be checking, okay? I have a list of who has done their homework. If you don't do the homework, your attendance score will be marked down, okay? Your participation score will be marked down. So doing your homework is very, very important. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this is our final online video. Hopefully in two weeks time, we can have some face-to-face -face classes back in university much much easier much better we can talk to each other have some fun guys okay so until then please do your homework have a happy face be good be safe see you soon thank you very much bye bye